Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the steam locomotive, and as you guys can see, we now have a cab. We have a cab, we have a nice looking front end, we also have these uh, fender things right here, which look pretty awesome. And we've also actually painted uh, our wheels down there, which is pretty awesome too. Anyway, what I wanted to do today was actually figure out how to add a tender to this thing. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a tender. Let's get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so you might be wondering what a tender is if you guys aren't really into steam locomotives. Essentially a tender is the thing that they pull behind them that can either store coal or water or both. Um, so our train definitely needs that uh, because at the minute we only have like 30 coal inside of the inside which is not enough. So we need to figure that out. But anyway, we need to extend this backwards before we do anything else. I'm only going to bring it backwards another like two or so um, because I think that'll be enough. We're going to have a slight overhang because I do think that will make sense. Uh, and there we go. Yeah, I think that will be okay, just like that. Uh, we'll also actually extend the roof bit over also. So let's go ahead and grab one of these and do it on both sides. We're going to go ahead and extend it over the top uh, just a little bit like this. That makes sense. And there we go. We're only going to do it to there. That works. Good. We're then going to go ahead and put these guys on here like so. And we're going to attach all of it together just like this. There we go. Yeah, that's very sick. It's very nice. So we're going to leave that there, and uh, that seems pretty decent to me, to be honest. So let's go ahead and save this the way that it is. There you go. So like a, a loco second body. Yes. We're then going to go ahead and go to the back end, and we're going to grab this entire thing. Now, you might be wondering why, uh, and there is a reasoning behind this. So hopefully, hopefully you guys know why. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to start a new one. Uh, if at all possible, and we need to figure out how far away these are. So it's actually all of this plus one. Okay, so start a new one. Here we go. Yes. Uh, we're going to bring this in. This is where our tender is going to start. This is how big it's going to be. Uh, paste it right there. Delete all of these guys. And bring it down by one. Yes. So delete this guy on both sides. Yes. Bring it down by one. Put it into there like this. And that's going to be it. Now, if you're wondering why I did that, it's so that we can actually add the wheels onto the bottom, uh, and that is where, oh, that's how we're going to be able to move this thing along. So there you go. That's going to go there like that. I think we're going to have like four on here, so I think this might be pretty cool. With that being said, though, if we do add four, and I use, let's say, the smaller guys, the smaller steam ones, can I add four of these and will it look okay? I don't think it will. Like, if I use these guys, I, I don't think it's going to work. But, 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 if I use the slightly bigger ones, Maybe it will make sense. Maybe. So if we attach that onto there like that. These are obviously the ones that we're using at the front of the locomotive. Uh, and we're going to use four of them. Let's go ahead and spawn this in and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty sick actually. Uh, don't mind the uh, the fact that it's uh, interfering with this. It doesn't make any... Uh, it, it isn't a problem, uh, let's say. So we're going to leave that interfering. I think that's fine. With that being said, actually, let's go and delete this real quick. Uh, we will actually... Ah, you know what? We'll fix it. There you go. And we'll bring this up and over here and back onto there, where we are going to have a corridor. I know that seems weird, but I want a corridor on this so that we can go from the steam locomotive at the front all the way through into the train cars behind. These were real things. So, um, yeah. All right, so now it's time to actually build this on properly. Hopefully this will work. There we go. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and do this guy as well. Obviously, all the way back to there. And we're going to go ahead and try and put in the rest of these pieces as well uh, to hopefully make it look quite nice. With that being said, I don't know whether it will look that nice, but we'll see. So I need to actually extend it. What I might do is actually have these two separate. So we'll actually grab these guys right here, uh, cut them, move them backwards a whole bunch, and actually have them back there instead. Uh, I know that might look weird, but I think it's what I want. So we're going to go with it. Uh, let's go and extend this over here as well, just so that we have it actually uh, merged on. And there we go. Excellent. Yes. All right, delete these guys. Go ahead and build it from there over to here. And that seems pretty good, to be honest. All right, with these guys as well, we're going to go ahead and build that up there. Let's go ahead and attach this guy on too. There you go. And this guy as well. Yep. And then this guy. Whoop. Hang on, is this going to fit? Yes, it is. All right, so there we go. Attach the rest of this on together. There you go. And it's looking about the right size, I do believe. We're going to make it slightly further forward as well. 
Also, I am going to remove all of the blue for right now. Um, and we'll actually paste that on later on. That'll be fine. So delete these guys. That's good. Uh, we are going to go ahead and delete this. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and fit this to it instead, which should be okay. There you go. Uh, I might actually change that in the future, but we'll see. Um, and that's pretty awesome, actually. That's very, very cool. So we're going to send this all the way down here. That seems fine. We need to be able to put some coal in here. So let's go with coal and see what we can actually fit. With that being said, uh, let's get rid of this real quick to begin with. So there you go. We're going to delete all of that. We're going to see how big of a coal duct or whatever we can actually add to this thing. And then we're going to go from there. So mineral duct, we can add that to there like that. And if we add a ton of these, that'll be excellent. I'm not going to add spare water, even though maybe I should. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. But this seems fine. So we're going to keep going with these as we go backwards. Yeah. The rear of it, I think, is actually going to be open on the roof. So we need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, we can actually do most of this going forwards, just like so. And this is going to be a hell of a lot of coal. Uh, and especially the amount of coal that we actually need. I think we're going to be able to do it. So there's one, two, and three hoppers. Um, I am actually going to go ahead and build this over the top with the hoppers too, and we'll do that. There we go. That seems pretty sick, to be honest. I like that. I like that indeedy. So what we might do is delete the roof where these hoppers are, just to make sure we can actually get to them. Um, and that makes sense to me, I do believe. So there you go. Uh, we can actually do it even further backwards if we need to, uh, which I think we will. So there you go. Nice. All the way backwards to there. We're then going to fill this in like so, straight across there, and... That looks okay, I think. All right, so with that being said, uh, we are actually going to go ahead and extend this forwards again. Uh, probably just to the end of this, so only to there. We're then going to go ahead and put these guys on, which is fine, hopefully. We're going to go ahead and put that across the top of there. Hopefully that works. It doesn't. Never mind. Put this right here. Add these guys to this. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and put that bit on the top as well. So grab one of these. We're going to do it just like this. Uh, which might be weird, but at the same time, I think it's fine. Uh, we're going to do that there as well. Delete these guys. And we're going to go ahead and put these guys on here like this. And then attach those together. There we go. So we can still put coal into the hopper right there. Um, which allows us to refill it if we need to. Um, yeah, that's sick actually. That looks, that looks pretty cool. I like it. We can actually walk down the middle also. So let's go ahead and fill this bit in right here. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and fill all of it in. All the way to the back, uh, except actually maybe not all the way to the back, but just to there. There we go. So that we can still access them at the back. That makes sense. Uh, we're going to go across the top right there, just like so. And we're going to go ahead and uh, build this in right here also. So we can get into the back of here um, if we wanted to. Okay, sick. We're going to go ahead and fill that in. Yep, excellent. And we can get the coal out of here if we need to. Brilliant. All right, so that's pretty much all we need to add to that. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a bit of a shaping at the front also. In fact, delete these guys at the front that I've just added. And we're going to go ahead and delete these guys. And what we're going to do in order to add a little bit of a shape to this, we're going to go right here and we're going to do this. There you go. We're also actually going to run this down the sides because I think that'll be fine. And yeah, that looks, that looks awesome. Yeah, I like it. So we're also going to extend this out sideways. We're going to extend these guys out here. And attach those on right there together. We're going to build that straight over the top of there. And do this. And hopefully that will make things look a little bit nicer uh, at the front. In fact, we're also going to do it here. And we're going to fill this bit in. And that's awesome. We're going to get some stairs. Probably not the best idea. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to actually have stairs inside a moving locomotive. But sure, let's go with it. Uh, and that will be fine. Alright, nice. Looks quite good towards the front. Uh, the rear, I am actually going to open up on the roof, um, which might be weird, but at the same time, it might not be. So there you go. Uh, and I think I'm actually just going to fill it in uh, back here. So it's actually just going to be full full uh, of coal, and we're going to leave that right there like that. We're going to go ahead and attach this guy under here like this. We're going to delete that guy, add one of these, and bring it across, just like so. Excellent. Yeah, I think this looks sick. Uh, with that being said... What I might do as well is actually grab one of these guys. Go ahead and put it on here. Ooh, how do I want it to look, actually? Probably like this. There you go. Um, and then I think what we'll do is add one of these guys to here, like that. Grab one of these, put it on there like this. And I don't think we'll have the back end be fully uh, filled in like that. I think that'll be fine. There we go. Excellent. Fill all of this in on the back. 
Go ahead and have it look a little bit nicer by using these guys. There we go. And honestly, that looks pretty sick. I like it. With that being said, though, we're going to have to add some sort of um, thing to the back of this. Uh, and what I mean by that... Wait, are these all going different directions? I don't think it matters. Uh, but anyway, spawn it in. Oh, it's big. I feel like the... Um... The gear itself, like these wheels, should actually be further out. But honestly, it doesn't work that way. So what we might do is make it one skinnier in order to make that bit look a little bit nicer. Yeah. Let me try and do that real quick. Okay, so it turns out the problem with making it skinnier is that it won't actually fit in here properly as a two. It only goes on one side. Uh, I think that's okay as long as we can somehow sort it out. So let's delete this real quick uh, and see if we can get a coal... If we have to duck underneath it, I think that's fine, but a medium hopper should fit directly in between both of these. Now, with that being said, if we put it right here, and we delete all of this, uh, and we put it right there, it will actually attach everything together. We can still fit underneath it if we crouch, uh, <laughs> um, and I think that'll be okay, to be honest. So, we're going to do that. We're then going to delete these guys and these guys. Uh, we're going to have that sit right there like that. We're going to build this in. We're going to build that in right there, and we're going to attach these guys onto here, just like so. Uh, which means we're going to do this on this side. There we go. And honestly, I think that looks okay. With that being said, we're also going to attach these guys onto here. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing, I believe, back here as well. So, one backwards. Um, if we can attach these on onto there, we can do this bit and this bit also. There we go. There and there. Excellent. Yeah. We are also going to have to delete like all of this. Grab one of these. Put it back on there like this. And fit it across the top. There we go. Alright, doesn't change too much back here. Um, but that's alright. Yeah, I like that. I do, I like that. I think we've done a pretty good job with the way this thing looks. With that being said, though... I keep saying with that being said. I'm sorry, guys. It just keeps happening. Uh, we're going to leave that like that. That seems pretty awesome. Right, now we need to paint it. Let's do that. Alright, so now we've got the blue. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and uh, try and paint this in. Now, I'm thinking literally the whole side needs to be blue. <laughs> Just like that. There you go. I actually don't mind that as a color scheme. I think that's actually okay. Uh, I don't know whether we need blue back there or even blue up here. But honestly, I think that looks good. Yeah, we're going to keep that. And maybe blue just on this top bit right here. And the rest of it is going to stay gray. Pretty much all the way around it as well is going to stay gray. So I think we're okay with that. With that being said, we now need to be able to attach these guys together. So let's get ourselves a pivot. Yes. We're going to go ahead and put it right at the front like this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab these guys, fit them onto the side up here so that hopefully it looks better, and bring that backwards like so. Excellent. We're then going to go ahead and get ourselves a connector, which of course we need. Uh, we're going to put that there. We're then going to go ahead and grab one of these, and we're going to do this upside down uh, across the top of there. I think I might do it with... These ones instead, to be honest. Yep. And I think that'll look good. With that being said, I'm going to actually put this backwards one. So let me grab let me grab this and this. Go ahead and cut it. Move it backwards. Paste it in there. I think it should still be able to like wobble about. Maybe a little bit. Uh, and that should be good. Or we can just put one of these on. Uh, and then it'll definitely be able to wobble out about a little bit. And that'll be pretty good. Nice. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Uh, with that being said, we're now going to... I said it again. Guys, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this here like this. That seems good. And now we can get into the tender, walk backwards, and that's all fine. Uh, I'm also going to attach this to here. Just so that we've got easier access to coal if we need it. Uh, I think that's an easier way of getting to it. So, that's fine. Alright, so what do we do... Uh, well, what do we need to do now? We need to go back to here. We need to go underneath. And we need to attach a thingamabobby onto the bottom of this. How do we go about doing that? Well, we get ourselves a pivot. We go ahead and we put it directly on here like so. Uh, I believe that's the right height. I could be wrong. Actually, let's delete that and go backwards. Backwards one. Let's actually put it as far backwards as we can. In fact, that might be it. <laughs> that might be as far backwards as we can go. But that's okay. So delete that bit right there. Have it attached on so it looks nice. And then we need a connector. Uh, of course, to go on here. And we also need them to be able to connect together. So we're going to bring... Oh, actually, we're going to bring this backwards a little bit. Uh, all the way back to there, that's fine. And we're going to attach these guys onto here like this, so that hopefully we can actually just jump across. I don't know whether that's going to be the case, but I guess we'll see, won't we? We will probably see. Um, also, kind of want to do this right here, because at the minute, we might as well. So there you go, that's going to go on there. 
We're also going to go ahead and attach this guy so that that fits in. And I think that's A-OK. -okay. All right, so we're now going to spawn this in with the tender and let's see if it can pull it. And there it is. They seem a little bit too far away from each other, so we're going to have to sort that out. I think I might extend this a little bit, get rid of that window right there, and then we can uh, somewhat have them a little bit closer together. But before we do that, let's see if it can actually pull it, because that's kind of important. <laughs> if it can't pull that, in fact, let's go see how heavy that is uh, before we actually move. So if we jump in here, here we go. Let's go ahead and jump over to the tether, tender, sorry, I should say. And that is 6,000 mass. Okay, the actual train itself is... What? 11,000 mass. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Anyway, let's jump inside and see if this can actually move it. It might be able to. It also might not be able to. We'll see. Okie dokie. So this is the first time with this thing actually pulling something. And uh, it seems to actually be working out quite nicely. I think the tender itself does look quite good. I, I don't mind the way that that looks. Um, I don't know whether we need to change it at all. I, I think this is actually completely fine. Um, except, obviously, I want this uh, to be built backwards a little bit. So that it doesn't quite merge with it. But so that it, like, it, it, it's more in a nice location for it. Um, yeah. I think that's what I want to do anyway. So we'll get rid of this window. We'll build this backwards a little bit. We'll have two windows right here. And that should be fine. It's actually quite hard to see where the uh, where the actual tender would go. So what I'm going to do in order to actually uh, make it work a little bit better is I'm going to grab this entire front section of the tender, right? So that it just about fits uh, with what I need. So let's go ahead and grab all of it. Go ahead and copy it and move it into our train thingamabobby. Here we go so that we can see what it's doing. Um, I haven't quite grabbed all of it by accident, but there you go. That's fine. And we should be able to put this back here. So what that allows us to do, uh, let me go to the other side real quick and copy and paste this bit. Here we go. So copy this, press U, take it over to the other side. Here we go. And paste it right there. Uh, what this allows us to do is actually see what it looks like as we are moving. So let's go ahead and fill this bit in. It's going to be blue. Uh, so delete all of that. Put that in there like this. Go ahead and grab one of these. Put it across the top, just like so. And paint it all in. There we go. All right, very nice. Uh, we are going to go ahead and keep this bit of the window. That's fine. And we're going to extend the rest of the cab backwards quite far, actually. So grab this bit all the way up to the top, all the way across. And that's fine. Go ahead and... Oh, actually. Do we want that bit? I don't think we want that bit. So move it upwards. As we go, move it backwards. There we go. And yeah, we'll just be taking this. So copy this. Move it backwards quite a bit. There you go. And quite a bit more. There you go. That's how far we actually need it to be extended over, I do believe. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and add another window. So we're going to build this up this way. Uh, out to like there. Yeah, no, actually to about the same place. There you go. Good. We're obviously going to have this bit be blue. So let's go ahead and paint that bit in. Uh, and I don't know whether we need like another set of wheels underneath it. Uh, with this being extended or not. I, I don't think so, but maybe. Maybe we do. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and extend all of it backwards like this. There you go. Excellent. Um... That seems fine, I think. We're then actually going to go ahead and extend all of this over this, which means none of this actually needs to be here uh, anymore. There we go. Okay. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. Uh, right. Now we're going to go ahead and grab this guy and this guy. We're going to go ahead and cut it, move it backwards to there, paste it back in, merge it back together, take it to the other side and do the same thing. So bring it to here, press U, paste it, delete this guy and this guy, merge this guy up and attach these guys together. There we go. I know that's a bit insane, but I think that's fine. There we go. So we still only got two wheels here. I might want to add another one. I might actually add another one. We'll see. Uh, but that seems fine. We've now got the ability to actually go straight back, jump onto there, uh, and that seems fine. We're just going to do this. And for safety, I guess we should do something else, but never mind. Uh, one, two. Let's go ahead and do this as well. Here we go. So from here upwards, we're also going to paint this in a little bit more. In fact, we're going to do the entire roof. So there you go. All of that, just like so. Very nice. Yeah, I think that works. We're going to jig that, that, and this. And I think that's A-OK, -okay, to be honest. I think that's quite nice. Yeah. All right, cool. So now that we've extended the cab uh, and all of that, we now need to delete all of this bit, clearly. So all of that needs to go. All of this needs to go. There is a hell of a lot that needs to go. It's kind of crazy. Um, there you go. All of this. All of that. All of that. And all of this. Way And this piece. Okay. And then finally, this top piece right here. There we go. So let's save this as we currently have it. 
Uh, let's spawn it in with the tender, using a mission, and see what it looks like. All right, so there you go. It is a hell of a lot closer together. I think I actually really like that. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we still don't have like a, a ladder or anything to be able to get in, but we'll do that later when we start adding more details. We also need lights and stuff like that. And I don't know whether to make the tender even bigger. At the moment, that is quite long, but yeah, maybe a little bit bigger would be cool. Also, the side at the back is obviously wrong, but we need to fix that. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of this? I, I've actually added the tender. We're obviously going to write some writing on the side of the tender, as well as the side of the cab, probably. And we'll also write the name of the train at the front, too, because I think we might as well. Right? We can either build it or write it up here, or we can write it on the fenders, because that would look awesome, actually. Um, but yeah, we're going to add some ladders and stuff like that to the side of the tender, side of the train, uh, the loco, uh, and we'll go from there. But honestly, I think this is pretty cool. Let's get it moving again, and we'll see what it does. I also want to change its color. We're going to do that thing again where we change the color every video, um, just to see which ones we prefer. But yeah, anyway, let's go and do this. It'll start moving. And off we go. Yeah, I don't know whether it needs to be longer. Obviously, the train itself is really long. Uh, but what I want to see is it going around a corner because of the way that it interacts back here. You know, this is a bit scary. <laughs> a little bit scary. As soon as we go around a, a, a quite a tight bend, this might be an issue. So that's what I'm waiting for. Nah, I think it's going to be completely fine, actually. I think it is. It's going to be completely fine. Okay, so what color do we want it to be in today's video? Who knows? Uh, we've had red, we've had white, we haven't had gold yet. But we've got gold bits on it, which might make things a little bit interesting down there. But nah, maybe not. Maybe not gold. Brown? Oh, that's weird. Purple. Purple train. Let's go. Alright, cool. So this is um, my girlfriend's color of purple. Let's go with that. Sure, why not? Save it. Yes. We can change it back to blue in the end. Or we can change it to any color in the end if we wanted to. Um, but there you go. This is also going to be purple. Let's go ahead and save this. There you go. Excellent. And uh, we'll bring it back. We'll attach it all together. And then we'll get it going again. I'm not going to lie. I actually don't mind the way this looks in purple. I think it does actually look pretty cool. But uh, we will be changing it again. Uh, I actually really like the, uh, the light gray color that we used before. I think that's pretty awesome. But... We'll have to see. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of detail added to the side of this eventually. Uh, we are going to have to try and figure out how to do that. Because obviously, this, is, um, this isn't this is flat. This is actually sideways. Um, slanted, I should say. Um, but yeah, we need to add a bunch more detail to this in the future. But for now, let's go ahead and get it moving again. See how fast we can get it going with the tender. And we'll go from there. Also, I kind of want to hide the wheels on the tender as well. I do. I want this to be more boxed off uh, and look a little bit nicer. We will do that. All right, so there it is. Off it goes. Everything actually seems to be working out quite nicely. Everything is working itself uh, to go. Yep, yeah, nope, perfect. Very good. Uh, and everything is, is working, yeah. I might even put another set of wheels in here. In fact, if I do this, I might put another set of wheels in the middle. I might extend it and add another set of wheels. We'll then be able to carry a hell of a lot more coal. Currently, this has 1,000 coal in it. 1,367, in fact. Um, but yeah, I might be able to change that. That would be awesome. But, um, yeah, how fast are we going right now? We're going 18. Okay, I don't know whether we can increase that speed somehow. Uh, I know there is a closed loop system sort of glitch in this game. So if you get a bunch of steam in your pistons, you can just have it sending from piston to piston. Uh, and have it as a closed loop system. Which means you never have to regenerate, um, you never have to have your boiler on after the start. Which is a little bit strange, but yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.